you've talked about the the threats, the safety concerns of AI. Let's look at long term visions. Do you think Neuralink is, in your view, the the best current approach we have for AI safety? It's an idea that may help with AI safety. Um, certainly not. I wouldn't want to. I would, wouldn't want to claim it's like some panacea or so, it's, that's a sure thing. Um, but I mean, many years ago, I was thinking like, well, what? Um, what would inhibit alignment of human collective human will with uh, artificial intelligence and the low data rate of humans, especially our our slow output rate, um, would necessarily just because it's such a because the communication is so slow would uh, diminish the link between humans and computers. Like the more you are a tree, the the less you know what the tree is. Like, let's say you you look at a tree, you look at this plant, or whatever, and like, hey, I'd really like to make that plant happy, but it, it's not saying a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the more we increase the data rate that humans uh, can intake and output, then that means the the better the, the higher the chance we have in a world full of AGIs. Yeah, we could better align collective human will with uh, AI if the output rate, especially was dramatically increased. Like, and I think there's, there's potential to increase the output rate by, I don't know, three, maybe six, maybe more orders of magnitude. So it's better than the current situation. And that output rate would be by increasing the number of electrodes, number of channels, and also maybe implanting multiple neural links. Yeah. Do you think there'll be a world in the next couple of decades where it's hundreds of millions of people have neural links? Yeah, I do. You think when people just, when they see the capabilities, the superhuman capabilities that are possible, and then the, the safety is demonstrated? Yeah, if it's extremely safe, um, and you have, and, and you can have superhuman abilities, um, and let's say you can upload your memories, um, you know, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't lose memories, um, then I think probably a lot of people would, would choose to have it. It would supersede the cell phone, for example. I mean, it's the, mm -hmm. the, the, the biggest problem that a, say, a phone has um, is, is trying to div figure out what you want. So that's why you've got, uh, you know, autocomplete and you've got output, which is all the pixels on the screen. But from the perspective of the human, the output is so friggin' slow. Desktop or phone is desperately just trying to understand what you want. And, and um, you know, there's an eternity between every keystroke from a computer standpoint. Yeah. yeah. So the, the computer's talking to a tree, a slow moving yeah. tree that's trying to swipe. Yeah. So, you know, if you had computers that are doing trillions of instructions per second and a whole second went by, <laughs> I mean, there's a trillion things it could have done, you know? <laughs> yeah. I think it's exciting and scary for people because. Once you have a very high bit rate, that changes the human experience in a way that's very hard to imagine. Yeah, it would be, we would be something different. I mean, some sort of futuristic cyborg. I mean, I mean, we're obviously talking about, by the way, like it's not like, a, not like around the corner. It's, you asked me what the future, distant future is like, maybe this is like, it's not super far away, but 10, 15 years, that kind of thing. When can I get one? 10 years? Probably less than 10 years. Depends on what you want, want, to, want to do, you know? Hey, if I can get like a thousand BPS. A thousand BPS. Wow. And it's safe and I can just interact with the computer while laying back and eating Cheetos. <laughs> I don't eat Cheetos. There's certain aspects of human computer interaction when done more efficiently and more enjoyably, I don't, like worth it. Well, we feel pretty confident that um, I think maybe within the next year or two that someone with a neural link implant will be able to outperform um, a uh, pro gamer. Nice. Uh, because the reaction time would be faster.